Hello everyone and welcome to Short Lessons for FEMAP users. Today I will be showing you how to use the Geometry Preparation tool which is newly introduced in FEMAP 10.3 version. So I have a model open in my FEMAP 10.3. It's a type of blade model as a solid and we will want to mesh this model as a solid for tool demonstration purposes. First, we define the mesh size on the solid. So we go to mesh, mesh control, size on solid, select all, click OK, and here in this box we define our element size. I'm going to pick 0.15 which is not too coarse, which will give bad results, and not too fine, which would increase the computation type. Hit OK. After choosing the element size, we mesh the entire solid by going Mesh, Geometry, Solids. This will apply a tetrahedral element mesh to our solid. So we pick our random material for this. Uh, let's go crazy and pick in Canal 600. Of course you can define your own material. You can go here, Type, um, and then all of these values could be modified if you have a custom material you would like to apply. Hit OK and hit OK again and here is our mesh. Pretty quick, right? Quick tip, if you want to see the elements only you can go here to view visibility or press Ctrl Q and hide the geometry and also the nodes and this would give you a pretty nice view of the mesh with elements only. One thing we recommend when you use a tet mesh on a solid is to check your aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is the ratio of a shape's width to its height. As you can guess, the lower the aspect ratio in a mesh element, the better. So a good practice is to keep, keep it under 30. So we're going to check down here and see what the highest value is, 1500, pretty high, which means bad elements. Um, we open the meshing toolbox and we're going to be looking for surfaces. So we pick surfaces here and check small surfaces and slivers. And here they are, they lit up, a few sliver surfaces show up. Now you can go and zoom in on exactly the part of the solid you wish to see. Well, there they are, bad elements right there. So now we're introducing the geometry prep tool. First we go ahead and delete the mesh, delete model mesh, select all OK. Uh, we're going to keep the materials, so hit no over there. Oh, it disappeared because we hit the geometry and nodes, so let's bring them back right here. OK. Um, so, we are going to go Mesh, Geometry Prep, this is our magic tool, and we're going to pick our element size, right here, 0.15, hit OK. Now you see a couple of boundary surfaces are showing, which means that those small surfaces and slivers were combined with the larger ones, and now it should mesh much better. So once again, let's go to Mesh Control, and Size on Solid. Select all. I'm going to pick the same size we did earlier, 0.15. Hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and mesh it. Geometry, tech mesh solids, hit OK. And this is our mesh. Now, we're going to look for the aspect ratio down here again. And we notice it's 16.2, which is almost 100 times lower. Now, this model is ready to get loads and boundary conditions applied and to be analyzed. If you have more questions for the technical support team, the contact is on the screen. Thank you for watching.